BDSM, drugs, alcohol, sex, abuse, you know, daddy kink, age gap, sexual activity. Sounds like my kind of story. Sounds like my kind of story. Hey beauts, Fanny Ann here and this is the first vlog I've done since I've been ill. I've been ill for like, I'm still kind of ill. Sympathy card. I haven't really done anything. I was ill for like a week and a half and it was horrible. First thing, I remember it being Monday and then the first thing I knew it was Saturday. I lost so many days just from being really ill. Um, yeah, so we're going to get back to it. Um, I haven't really thought of much kind of to do today. Um, so I thought I'd do another fresh fan fiction because fuck it and they're fun and I like it and why not? I realised I haven't done uh, a five sauce one uh, yet. So I thought I'd type in five sauce smut into Wattpad and see what comes up and uh, read out the first one. And this one looks great. Luke, did you eat my pizza? Michael growls. By the way, I don't know who any of them are, like their names or anything like that, so I don't know who's who. What? No, totally not, Luke said with no emotion. Oh, with no emotion. What? No, totally not. You must get punished, you little fucktard, Michael yelled at Luke. <laughs> Bit harsh. Because I'm a good girl that hasn't been got, Luke giggled. Michael kissed Luke and they both moaned loud. Michael slapped Luke with his dick. Luke cried. Then they did the sex. Okay, let's find a real one. What the fuck was that? I just... The fuck was that? Enemy, my ally. So we'll piss up the neighbours. In a place you lose your fear. Yeah, reckless behaviour. Place it is so pure, so dirty and raw. Fucking and fighting on, it's our paradise and it's our war zone. This one's called um, Callum Truth or Dare. Now I don't know who Callum is, so great. You just know Callum's going to pick truth. Ashen took a dig at Callum who frowned lightly. Fuck you, dare, Callum spoke impulsively, surprising most everyone in the room. Are you sure mate? Michael laughed a little, looking over at you with a knowing glare, making your smirk a little turning to Callum for his answer. Yes, fucking dare, he spoke, still agitated by Ashton's remark. All right, Michael sharply inhaled through his teeth and rolled his eyes, animating animatedly to cause comical suspense. Hurry up or he change his mind, Luke shouted, lying on the floor with some sort of alcoholic beverage in his hand. Just some sort. Just doesn't matter about, doesn't matter about the details in this, uh, in this erotic, Fan fiction. Who needs details when you're writing something, eh? Who needs details? You don't. Michael chuckled a little. All right, Callum, why don't you give your name a kiss? I'm gonna put my name in because I'm sad. Callum, why don't you give Fanny Ann a kiss? He grinned cheekily, then running his tongue along his teeth with amusement. Because she's my best friend. I just can't. Oh, she's your best friend, but you also fancy her. <coughs> don't make me sick. Just kiss me, you fool. Callum stopped mid-sentence. His hand just as though he didn't need to elaborate and he was right. Everyone knew you two were best friends but you'd always felt a twinge of something more when it came to Callum. I knew he wouldn't do it, Ashton burst into hysterical laughter. Ha <laughs> ha, hysterical laughter. It wasn't that funny to be laughing that hard. Ha 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 So funny, Callum. <laughs> Luke joined him shortly afterwards. They're both hysterically laughing. <laughs> Michael shrugged at you subtly, as though to say, I tried. You shook your head and looked towards the floor, slightly disappointed. Hey, no. Fuck it. I'll do it. Callum spoke, grabbing the boy's attention all of a sudden. Little meerkat sitting up and gawking at the pair of you. Just like... <laughs> what? You spoke, your head also coming up quickly. Callum turned to you. Do you mind? He asked. Eyebrows raised with genuine concern for your comfort as he licked his lips. You shook your head, trying not to seem excited. Pucker up, you smirked. Callum followed your lead, grinning back with which managed to settle your butterflies somewhat. Callum was, Callum was sat next to you, and so it didn't take long for him to shuffle over to you and, the, and rest on his knees in front of you, you doing the same. The pair of you knelt in front of each other, staring and taking each other in as though none, no one else was in the room, but of course they were. The boys sat ogling at you and Callum with jaws dropped. Callum beamed one of those gorgeous smiles at you before placing his hand on your shoulder, which sent a spark up your spine. Woo! Woo! That's how I imagine it went. <coughs> he soon pulled you in so your chests rested neatly together and he... 
they can't rest neatly. The only way you could rest your chest neatly against the girls is if you had two indents and the boobs just slotted in. That's how you'd rest your chest easily with a girl. And he tilted his head slightly, slotting his mouth onto yours and stroking his silky lips against yours. His wet lips dampened yours and the so many inches of yours. He continued to massage your mouth with his. Your stomach ached with pleasure and it was difficult to not rip his shirt from him there and then. Instead you focused on the firecrackers exploding inside of you and for a second you hoped Callum felt the same. It took you by surprise when he wrapped his other arm around you and slid his tongue into your mouth, but you didn't complain. Your tongues danced around together. Your hands just seemed to fall to his sides and he fisted his t-shirt. He fisted his t-shirt. Whoa! Michael giggled from across the room. Callum removed himself from you at Michael's words, leaving you in a bit of a fluster. You're totally just made out of Fanny Ann, Ashton spoke, looking stunned. And what he just uh, what he just witnessed. Shut up! Callum couldn't help his grin as he sat back, his face brighter his face a brighter red than yours. Luke just stared at you with his mouth gaping, a small smile etched onto his face, and he started to realise that what Michael already knew. You chuckled a little. Wiping your mouth off with the leftover saliva and standing suddenly, pacing quickly towards the bathroom. You stood in front of the sink, splashing some cold water on your head cheeks and f face head cheeks and face okay and looking up to the mirror to sort out your face you breathed heavily to try and get some air back into your lungs your hand falling to your forehead as you tried to remember what had just happened suddenly the door opened and you turned to see Callum stepping in closing the door behind him quickly here we go here we go this is what I was after not a fucking truth or dare like who gives a shit what you 12 <laughs> He spoke, but it didn't even take a second before Callum attached his lips to yours once more. His hands tangled in your hair and he was pushing you further into the room. It took you a moment to fall into reality and afterwards you didn't waste any time indulging your... Long it... Long it you would deny... That's probably a real, a real word, but I can't read it. Indulging your want for Callum. There we go. Taking his shirt by the rim and putting it over his head. Your hands running all over his body as he frantically tried to kiss you harder and harder. Each time your nails caught his skin. His hands quickly took a firm hold of the sides of your thighs and moved the hem of your dress up onto your white laced underwear, which was on show. Oh my god, Callum spoke as he unlatched his lips from yours and took a good look at your pants. You're going to need to take these off, he hummed. He hummed. <laughs> his hands traced the outline of your lace and you took no time, to, no time to do as he wished, taking your dress with it as an added bonus, almost ripping Callum over the edge just at the sight of you. You threw a disbelieved laugh Callum's way. <laughs> Neither of you quite understand where this sudden affection had come from. He chuckled back soon, taking you by the waist and getting as close to you as possible before lacing your lips with his and gently pushing you, pushing you against the wall. His hand failing, his hand falling to your middle and rubbing hard, releasing a gasp from you as you started to tingle all over. Callum watched your face and skillfully used his other hand to unbuckle his belt, letting you take over and push his jeans and boxes down to his ankles. Also, his pulsing, his pulsing erection sticking out and getting stiffer the wetter you became. And by this point, you're already dripping all over his fingers. No one mentioned his fingers going there, so okay. I'm sorry, Fanny Ann, I have to have you now. Using my name is really weird. I might just not do that anymore. I'm sorry, Claire. I have to have you now. Callum spoke, removing his fingers from your entrance. Entrance. Knock, knock. <laughs> Can I come in? Kicking his pants from his feet and grasping your fire in his hand, resting it on his waist. There's a lot of palatial movements and hand movements. I'm holding toys, I'm sorry. There's a lot of placial movements and hand movements and waists and fires and things in there. There's a lot of description that I don't need. You use his shoulders for support as he ran the tip of his shaft over your slit. A few times before pressing into your entrance and sinking in achingly slow. Both of you letting out simultaneous moans as he began to build a momentum. He delved into your folds. 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 No woman wants to ever hear the word folds. Over and over again, his hand squeezing your thigh tightly, his other taking hold of your hip with a painful pleasure. Your screams were jilted, but still seemed to force Callum into a gradual quickening speed each time you made a sound. The sound of your hips clashing could probably be heard from down the hall, but neither of you cared at this point. He padded his way to an or an organ. <laughs> an organ. He padded his way to an organ. Pressing his nose into your cheek and breathing heavily through gritted teeth as he continued to plunge in and out of you, sucking lightly at your jaw every now and then, and taking to a different angle inside of you and starting to build the strain in your stomach. Fuck Callum, fuck fuck, you breathe profoundly in his ear. You're so fucking sexy, Claire. Callum's words. Oh, he's an Australian, isn't he? You're so fucking sexy, Claire. Callum's words seemed aggressive, but you knew him too well to know that he was just incredibly turned on and so entertained by the idea of, 
of you clenching around him, causing his eyes to crease shut and sharply, sharp lustful moans to fill the room. Callum's grip on your Callum's grip on you tightened so hard that you were sure he'd leave bruises. Again, babe, do it again. Look up who Callum is because I'm I d I don't know which one that is. I don't know who any of them are. Oh, okay. The bassist. Dig 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 dig. Awesome. Yeah, so anyway, that's that's it for today. Uh thank you for coming and seeing me today. I really um appreciate it. Remember to push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Um remember to follow your dreams about how small they are. Even if your dream is to write five source fan fiction, go for it. Even if your dream is to one day play truth and dare with five sauce and kiss Callum then freaking why not uh, and i'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one